the, yeah. uh, the Manon specialist. A lot of these players also know each other. So while, yes, you can absolutely watch them outside of a given match on the, the day of to see how they're playing, a lot of them have played each other so many times, whether in casuals or in tournament, that they already know what that play style is going in. I mean, I think the, the, the best example from that was Chad versus X2K, oh, yeah. right? Yo, Chad was making you know, some people crazy just throwing things out, like, left and right. But it worked. It worked. He's on winner's side still because of those crazy reads because he knew his opponent. Yes. Yeah, Chad, honestly, what, what are the biggest ones for to take, but I would love to see, you know, not the same old Saga Dance. Give us a more complex storyline. But we're going to waste no time. Losers here for Yabai and Wimplo. Now, I'm curious to see how is Wimplo going to be able to deal with something that's like dive kick, right? You do have yeah. the crouching fears, which is pretty consistent in its own regard, but sometimes it does trade with dive kick, so it can be a little finicky. I want to see how Wimplo adapts to it. Yeah, we've seen a lot throughout this day those dive kicks that you're talking about, the way that Yabe and other Kami players, there's dive kick number one have been able to mix up their timing with dive kick. So it's not so much about being plus on block as it is about the 50-50, the will they, won't they even come down with one to begin with. There we go. Yabi just like pressing back and a nice jump over the dive kick. Wimplo realizing like there's a huge gap in between the, that target combo. Absolutely. And right now, Yabe is taking full advantages of the gaps that they can find to close out that first round pretty decisively. And I'd like to add, the Wimplo curse has been broken. They did not get six rounds in a row where well, the first round had three medals. Hey man, we'll, we'll see how it kind of pans out here. Wimplo is adapting on the fly. I love the use of Drive Rush to enforce their will and also get the medal inbound. We see Wiplo checking over and over with those strikes, which makes me think there may be a throw mix-up coming in soon. But Yabe just saying, get out of here. I don't want to play that game. Hey, you know what beats that? <laughs> Wake up, DP. Why not? <laughs> yes, it does. Ooh, there it is. That's three medals and the overhead. Not quite enough to kill, but you're living on borrowed time. Ooh, and an incredible whip play just coming up some Yabe into the drive, oh. which means you're going to get stunned. Wait, you got a level three. Yeah, I'm going to go into Hooligan level three. I think that's going to be it. What it would, it seemed like, combat. honestly, in Wimplo's grasp, but... Shush! Ah! Ooh. She got kicks. That was... Look at the life left on Yabe's side of the screen. At one point in that that match, he had that much life, and Wimplo had, what, like 70% left? And somehow, Yabe was able to find the answer and bring it all the way back. Yeah, we'll see if Wimplo can kind of clean up a little bit there, because he was doing a good job of rotating their options. But it gets flipped on the dive kick. I'm not sure what that cannon spike was about, but, uh, you know, only a chunk of damage taken off, so we'll get Scott free. I also just saw Wimplo using the crouching medium punch, medium punch target combo there and not following up, trying to bait Yabe into doing something, and Yabe just didn't give it to him. Okay, oh wow, almost a, a crucial whiff punch moment there from Yabe, but a little bit spaced out, and another dive kick for your trebles, but does not get the full extension, you gotta make this count with blow. Ooh, and make yes. it count, he is two medals, that's not nothing, but He's got a lot of work ahead of him if he wants to stay ahead of Yabe in this set, who has been proving. Woo! There you go. But Yabe has been proving that a sliver of health is all he needs. Yeah, it seemed like a matter of time. Wimplo able to clutch it out of their own. Maybe potentially get one on the board here if they keep playing like that. Interesting dive kick. Yabe maybe showing their hand a little bit preemptively there as Wimplo continues to push the pressure and the momentum that we saw from that last round. Okay, let's throw. Ooh, and a nice. nice parry on Wake Up. One of the best timings to do it, and of course, getting four medals in the process. You know what? I can do what you can do. Yeah, yeah. anything you can do, I can do slightly faster yeah. into a dive yeah, kick. Yeah, it wasn't necessarily better, right? But <laughs> Wimplo on the up and up right now. Nice jump, but the parry. Ooh, nice pressure no, from Nothing Yabe coming well. after it, yeah. so Wimplo's both uh, of these... Honestly, got some Guardian Angel looking out for them. <laughs> I feel like both of these players are fishing for their opponent to swing out of their disadvantaged state, and neither of them is showing that impatience. They are playing so carefully, and as soon as you find your one opening, Wimplo continues to convert. Yeah, eventually you can't always wait around for your opponent to do something wrong. You gotta enforce some kind of, like, will. You have to be aggressive in some manner. So 1-1 one, one apiece, there we go. 
actually, I, be I believe we are best of three, if I'm correct. Yeah, yes, we, we are in best of three. Are there any best of fives today? I think it's going to be finals, right? I guess we will uh, we'll find we'll out as it kind of yeah, goes we'll along here. Goes. Usually it's going to be best of five on finals, but here we go. Hey. Okay, no throw loops. Going right for that strike, but gets the drive impact so hard to react to that with your corner mental stack. Interesting trade with the dive kick. You don't see that very often. Ooh, got the punish counter throw in the process. And oh, and one. the... Did you see the bait on the stop of the drive rush into the command grab? That was really sneaky. So <laughs> smart. And now Yabe is burned out again. Wimplo has been continuously taking advantage of Yabe's penchant for using that drive gauge heavily. And now the onus is on Yabe, but we've seen Yabe do this before. Ooh, the low there battle. Yeah, I think Wimplo is getting a handle about what range like Yabe might be weak at. Yeah, there is a really interesting battle because Wiplo does have more range. Oh, the downtown OD hooligan. You weren't ready for it. But Wiplo also has to be really careful because if you get impact checked there, that you can't cancel those normals. And we see the patience bearing fruit as Woo! the overhead takes that round. Three medals on the board. The status quo has been restored. Wow, incredible recognition of that like series at the end. Yeah, Wimplo. There have been so many times I think when people have not been checking the target combo, but Wimplo is definitely ready for it. Absolutely. And now it comes down to this for Wiplo. Can you close it out now, or is this Yabe's opportunity? That's so crucial. Now we got five on the board. This is looking a lot scarier. Let's see. so careful. Yeah, I mean, Wiplo is throwing out all these baits to see if Yabai will keep any, on them, potentially. Any one of these hits could spell disaster. The yeah. level five, so much damage. Speaking of damage in the tank, we got two level threes ready to go. That's gonna be oh, it. That is gonna be the, the anti catch. you need with the level two. There we go, Wimplo gonna be taking it. Man, no. All right, but we got we are definitely first of three, best of five, if you will. So Wimplo on up on the scoreboard here, but let's see if they can get three. Or will you buy, you know, make a comeback? Yeah, that level two ampere from Wimplo was so smart at the end of that game. You had five medals on lock. Yabe had to take a risk, had to do something. And Wiplo is just continuing to run away with that momentum. Yeah, and I like it. Standing right underneath the clock, but get thrown for your troubles here. Ooh, another one. Can we get one more for the fans? Okay, no, going right into that spin knuckle. And Wiplo trying to steal back a turn. They go right back to mid-range. It's where they're the strongest, right? And they keep doing these short drive rushes. Just to give you the false confidence that you can actually do something. But right. you can't do anything because Whipple's got your number. Exactly. <laughs> Trying to get your opponent to swing. That has been the name of the game. The whiff punishing. And both of these characters hit you so hard if they do get that whiff punish. Little things like that. Not a lot of damage, but a lot of corner carry and forcing Yabe to be a little more aggressive. Like, I'm loving the defense coming out from Whipple too. Just not biting after all of these spin knuckles. There's the regular grab, goes for the reset into the command grab. Four medals on the board, and potentially, is this going to yes, be it? Is. it? Oh, no! missed the level three, that's so unfortunate. Yabe. But also unfortunate on Yabe's side too. And it doesn't matter. That's definitely matter. gonna be it. Oh my God, what a heartbreaker, but Wimplo oh. will take it. I think they're both shaking their heads. Such an unfortunate oh, stuff all no. the way around. I mean, we all knew what it was. The spaghetti. That's that's so rough to be in that situation from both sides of that. But in the end, Wimplo was able to close it out, and that is what really matters. Yeah, Wimplo does a good job. I love that weight there too, just in case you might like do anything. But the conversions have got a lot more cleaner on their side, which I think really paid off in a big way. It's hard to have execution when you got nerves in a top eight. Yeah, Especially it, it really getting is. the yeah, anti-air level two. Can we talk that about was, that? That anti-air level two, I don't think I've seen that like much at all from Menon players. Oh, oh there he what is. is that? Who do I spy there? That who, is, who is Kalahi that? Bear there, your voice of many different anime stars, of course. We got Gohan and Kiba. But we also got the main pro tag, Ryu from Streets. My man Kyle Hebert, a fantastic voice actor. So cool to see him among the many talented voice actors that are in presence today at this event. Big ups to Kyle for coming up and, you know, just showing us some love there. We love Street Fighter here, and we've loved that he's, like, put his voice into this game once more. Yeah, I, I love that 
like having these voice actors who really care about the genre that they, they do this voice acting as their profession and they put their all into it. It is their their life for that matter. And that lifeblood goes into just every little facet of how they go about portraying these characters. It makes such a difference. You're basically married to the character, right? Yeah, I you think, are. Yeah, Kyle's been doing it, I think, since Street Fighter 4. Yeah, so a once long you get time. a good performance, they want to keep you coming back. Right. Because I know you're good at your job, and Kyle absolutely is. So. You're good at your job. Oh, you're good talk, at your job. Talk, yeah. Talking about voices here, you know, me, me and Latini have been doing a lot of work together.